Rich, it's our Go Public Cool School winner, and we're here to celebrate. The seeds have been planted here at this Northeast ISD campus, pushing students to turn into green thumbers. It takes a lot of hard work, but with a group of people and with good, good, like, the spirit and how you like, and if you like to do it, good enthusiasm, then you can do it. There are 22 garden beds here at Colonial Hills Elementary. The students plant, harvest, and deliver the produce straight to the cafeteria. And we have some students here today. So what are we making today? Today we're making salsa. Salsa, that's my favorite. Well, to, right now I'm going to add the mango, but make sure to peel off all the skin or else it's going to be skinny and you don't want all of the skin. Got it. Okay, and what's our next step? Next we're going to add avocado. Make sure not to leave the skin either or the seed. Now I'm adding red bell peppers. Do you love bell peppers? No, I haven't, <laughs> I, I haven't tried them. Now I will be adding lime. Okay. You gotta have lime. Or lime, or lime juice, actually. Okay. okay. Now I will, I will also be adding some mint. This is grown from our garden. Does that make you guys feel proud that this is coming straight from your garden? Yeah, it really does. Now I'm adding salt. I will be adding chili. Keeps getting better and better, huh? Thanks for the best part to mix it. This looks really good, guys. And what would you put this on? I would put it on a big lettuce because to make it all look pretty and stuff. Okay. Time to taste, taste test. test. Ready, guys? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All the fresh produce is inspiring these fifth graders to cook more, and it's something they can be proud about. From salsa to a fall apple cinnamon infused water. So it's amazing to see students not only here in their gorgeous garden, they learn where food grows, they have a, develop more of an appreciation for it, but then they come into the class and they are making chef recipes, which are super fun, super simple. So you guys actually deliver the produce to the cafeteria and they use it? Uh, we did a strawberry infused water before and squash. That's amazing. Sadie wasn't a big fan of veggies. Now she's appreciating the process. I didn't like like to be out in nature because it would always be hot when I would go outside. And now that I joined the garden club, I learned that it doesn't matter what the temperature is. At least you get to be in the garden. And each chef member has a garden favorite. It'll have to be strawberries. It either has to be car uh, carrots or tomatoes. I am so proud. Um, they have grown as a team working together. Um, they have grown in leadership roles, um, in presenting to the community. So these kiddos are a lot more likely to try new foods because they've had a hand in making it and in growing it. And these skills will carry on with students for the rest of their lives. And I have to say, their recipes were very refreshing. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky.